This time I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> well, I'm looking at this clock. It's one o'clock, so that's one we're dealing with. Okay, thank you. Welcome. It's another beautiful day in Norfolk. I would like to remind everyone that our meetings are web streamed and televised. From those in attendance, I would ask that you ensure your phones are silent on silent mode. We are starting at 1 p.m. today to get through a very heavy agenda. I plan to take a 20 to 30 minute break sometime around 4 o'clock today. With the number of staff reports we, are, we have before us, I would request that staff be brief in introducing them. If everyone could attempt to be concise and keep comments directly related to the matter at hand, we should be able to get through the agenda. We do have a change to the agenda. We have two additional um, deputations. Uh, we have two additions, which are Adam, sorry, Susan Robinson, Robertson, and added deputation Adam Varen. Varen, I guess, I'm not sure. Barry? Okay. Mayor Luke moves. Yes, All those I will. In, more of those in favor? That is carried. Is there any pecuniary interest from anyone? None? Presentation, Clark Haskins. We have a presentation from you representing Census Agriculture. You're on. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for the opportunity to present the Census of Agriculture 2016 Norfolk County data to you today. In front of you, you'll see um, a report uh, about 12 pages long that uh, our division has produced, as well as a um, infographic, a printed version. Usually these are online, uh, but this is a printed version which we will be sharing with farmers and other agriculture stakeholders. Um, also in front of you is a quart of Norfolk County strawberries. Just for your information, uh, they are either jewels uh, from Haskett Farms or Valley Sunsets from Meadow Lynn Farms. So just to share with you some of the bounty of Norfolk County. Uh, in terms of the Statistics Canada uh, Census of Agriculture, it's done every five years. It's a snapshot of agriculture across the country. And in Norfolk County, we use it basically to uh, understand our agriculture sector better uh, so we can provide information and also respond better to the needs of the farming community. And it also, in our marketing and communication side, it helps us create what we call a unique selling proposition, which it basically differentiates your community from another. So knowing our agriculture well is important to us because it is such an important sector. Uh, so there's a lot of numbers. I'm not going to read them all. You can, you can read them uh, at your leisure. Uh, we'll be posting them on our website. I will be trying to uh, under, uh, point out some uh, main key points. Um, almost 200,000 acres of land, uh, 1,300 farms, uh, some maybe specific key data, oops. Um, the total farm market capital um, for uh, Norfolk County's agriculture sector is almost $3.3 billion, so that's a considerable amount. And the annual farm gross receipts, the amount of money that farmers take in in Norfolk County in the year prior to the census was almost $520 million. Uh, num we're number one in Canada uh, in asparagus, tart cherries, ginseng peppers, pumpkins, and other vegetables. And we're number one uh, grower in Ontario for a variety of additional ones, uh, including squash and zucchini and strawberries and rye and some other vegetables as well. Uh, some of the key things I, I'd like you to know, and as well as the general public to know, uh, other ways that Norfolk County is a leader in agriculture. So we're the number one uh, community in Canada with the total number of employees in agriculture. So compared to any comparable community across the country, we have the most full-time, part-time, and seasonal employees in agriculture, which I think is, um, which is something to be proud of, and it's also something to be concerned about uh, because labor costs are probably uh, one of the most uh, important parts of a farmer's uh, balance sheet, and as they have told me, um, with changes in legislation, those labor costs may go up and it will be more difficult for them uh, to make a living, so that's important to know. Um, also, we're the number one in Canada in terms of total seasonal and temporary workers, and we know, we know that from just visiting our community, um, the number of people from offshore who come to help us harvest uh, our, our crops. 
Also, um, number one, uh, Norfolk County is number one in Ontario in the number of farms reporting gross farm receipts over $2 million, which is a, an interesting tidbit of information. And we're also the second largest uh, community in terms of total farm capital per acre of land and crops. So what that means is, is that during the census of agriculture, each farmer has to basically value their property, their buildings, their machinery, and then report that to, to the federal government. And so what I did was I took that number and divided it by the number of acres of land that's being cropped and came up with this statistics, which I think is pretty incredible that we have the most investment, or second most investment in Ontario. Uh, also, uh, we're a leader in technology use. So in Canada, we have the highest usage per acre of technology, computers, smartphones, GPS technology, and GIS mapping. So that shows that our farmers are innovative, they're forward thinking, they're on the ball, and they're ready for the future. Uh, so uh, it's not a long presentation, but I did, did, did want to use this as an opportunity to raise awareness of the importance of agriculture in Norfolk County. As I said, we will be distributing the Norfolk by the Numbers uh, report. We also have all of this data on our website at norfolkbusiness.ca. And as I mentioned, uh, we will be providing these infographics online and to our farming stakeholders who may wish to post one up in their farm market or in their office or wherever they wish. Uh, so that's it for me for today. Uh, thanks, and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to take them. Councillor Columbus. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and Clark. Uh, very impressive statistics that we have here in Norfolk. I always knew that we were number one in agriculture, and these numbers prove it. But I have a question with respect to the forest products on this here long slip of uh, paper. And it says uh, 546K and 39%. Can you share with us what that actually means? So, so all of this data is reported by registered farmers, farmers who own farms and who operate farms. So this, according to Statistics Canada, is the amount that farmers have reported selling from their farms uh, in terms of forest products. So it may not include other types of businesses that aren't farms that are in the forestry uh, business. So th this is just forest products from farms, it's not like from other sources? That's correct, it's the okay. census of agriculture, only farmers, registered farmers respond to it. Okay, so th that's, thanks for that's clarifying that. Yeah. Councillor Black. Well, I, I just, Noticed, uh, and I, got, I have a complaint already, Mr. Chairman. What's the complaint? My complaint is my box isn't as full as, as Councillor Wells. Obviously, you haven't been good enough this The week, berries so. are smaller, and his are much redder. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and anyway. You probably ate half of them before you even. Oh, did. you saw me, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to comment that. Uh, yeah, I read this at home, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't believe it. Like the the uh, the numbers, the statistics, the the number one, number two, number three of not just Ontario, Canada, but uh, it's just kind of mind-boggling. But would you say that um, our I, I know like there's some uh, looking at the statistics. There's there's some farms that are much they're getting seem to be getting bigger, uh, making more money and. Then the guys, the smaller guys, there's a lot of smaller guys at the bottom, but overall, would you say that um, our uh, agricultural uh, economic viability is pretty sound? Uh, through the chair, um, I, I mean, the details are in the report, so I don't want to try to make some grand um, statements or anything, but I would say that, yes, Norfolk County's agriculture sector is very, um, very vibrant and vital and uh, doing very well. Um, our building statistics also prove that in the amount of buildings that are going up uh, that are agriculturally related. Um, however, like any sector, they have their challenges and uh, you know, we have to be careful to uh, be mindful of those as well. So uh, yes, we should be really proud of our farmers and our agriculture sector, definitely, but we also need to be there for them when they need our help in other ways. Yeah, thanks, Clark, I agree with you. Thank you very much. Councillor Oliver. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Clark, uh, I too read the, the one we had been provided with before and this color version is, is even nicer. I don't have any questions about it, but I'd like to make two comments. First of all, to congratulate you because I see your name as the, as the author, author of the report compiling data from other sources. It's a very, very uh, 
uh, impressive and useful document, and I, I congratulate you and thank you for that, and, and other staff, because I know uh, other staff were involved. Uh, the only other comment, Mr. Chair, speaking of our agriculture, my wife and I had occasion to be eating in a restaurant in Kitchener on Sunday night, uh, one which promotes itself as, as promoting local products in their menu, and lo and behold, uh, the burgers on the menu were, f were featuring YU Ranch beef. And boy, was I ever pleased and proud to be able to tell our server that, that we, that farm and those cattle came from Norfolk County. So you're absolutely right. And this will help us in promoting our agriculture. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Wells, and then Height. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Mr. Chair. And Clark, thank you very much for this report. This is an excellent report. And, uh, it uh, always amazes me, I guess, to realize how important agriculture is to our community. We, you know, we take tourism, all we ever hear about is tourism, but this is a pretty important and impressive uh, statistic as well that you have presented to us. With that in mind, do we as Norfolk County, I know we support them verbally, but do we lend any other support to our farmers or are they basically entrepreneurs on their own? Uh, through the chair, uh, Norfolk County works closely with a number of agriculture stakeholders. So whether it be at kind of a provincial level uh, or a regional level through the um, Ontario Food Cluster, where we try to get investors to invest in our area, as well as through South, uh, South Central Ontario Region ECDEV Corporation with their, their farm agriculture programs. But then locally, uh, we have our community incentive programs, which you're gonna be talking about a little later, where they've used uh, some loans and interest-free, or grants and interest-free loans to help uh, develop their properties. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we work in terms of cooperative marketing with the tourism sector who supports local food. So the chefs and the other uh, farm markets that support local farmers and the farmers who are directly involved in that. So I think a, a wide variety of areas we touch on supporting agriculture, for sure. Councillor Height. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, through you to the deputation, I appreciate the report, Clark. It's filled with lots of good stuff, and I see we've been able to fill in some blanks that were missed in 2011, which is nice moving forward. I guess uh, some of the farmers that I've been speaking with, uh, I guess some of their concerns would be that we don't have processing facilities in Norfolk County. Like, I know that we had the tomato plant down in Port Rowan, and, and now guys are pretty much having to run tomatoes and cucumbers basically out to Elgin, I think it is. Uh, and with that, I'm wondering if your department, if you get this into the hands of people that can make those kind of places happen, and even in the biofuel movement with the soybean processing for oil and things like that, is how does your department get this out to those potential investors or business people? Sure, through the chair, um, we definitely share that information out there and we work with our Agricultural Advisory Board, which is a very important uh, part of Council's um, volunteer appointees to, to raise awareness of these issues. Um, also, we do connect with various commodity group organizations. Uh, specifically around invest in, investment in food processing, I would say our best bet these days would be our work with the Ontario Food Cluster. So that is basically similar communities from Windsor to uh, Ottawa that work together to actively generate leads from investors in other countries uh, to invest in, in Ontario to do food processing specifically. So as long as we can remain competitive in that sector and make a good um, you know, case for it, uh, we hopefully will see some food processing happen you know, where we can put it in, in Norfolk. That would be great. Thank you for that. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Mayor Luke? Yeah, I'll just add a quick two cents worth, Clark, again. Good job. This is how we promote our county right here is uh, by these means. Just a couple of comments, Mr. Chair. First of all, on page four, and I read this uh, report this morning from front to back. Uh, makes you feel pretty proud of our farming community. But uh, certainly 85% uh, of our farm labor uh, work is done by offshore. Where would we be today had this program not been put into place? Because... Um, a lot of people don't want to do those types of jobs anymore. They're, uh, they're, they're tough to do. So my hats are off to the offshore people that come back every year. Secondly, the diversity, Mr. Chair, of this county is remarkable. Uh, so many different things can grow on our soil and on our climate, and that's a real 
bonus to have that that diversity. And and finally, um, as you drive around the countryside, I am very proud of the way our farmers keep their farms. They are um, they keep lovely farms. They they uh, are stewards of our of our farmland, and uh, it's it's pretty uh, pretty amazing. Uh, our countryside and our pristine farms that exist throughout the county. So, again, uh, Mr. Chair uh, Clark, uh, very well done. Keep up the good work. Councillor Sonnenberg. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Clark, for this uh, report. It's very, very impressive. We we lead the the nation in a lot of areas, but uh, there's one area where we are really lacking, and that is egg production. One of the very staples of our diet is eggs and we only have one quota holding egg producer in all of Norfolk County. We have 44 farms but they are very small. I think in order to have uh, uh, not have quota you can have up to 500 chickens. So uh, uh, these are very very small operators and we only have one uh, quota holding egg producer in Norfolk County. So when you're making your decision tonight about eggs in backyards, you might keep that in mind. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor Columbus. Just uh, one more comment. Uh, I would think that uh, Clark, uh, on the next census, 2021, there'll probably be a column for uh, marijuana production and we'll probably be uh, tops in that too. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Columbus. Thank you, uh, very good uh, presentation. We are going to go into camera and I need a, mo a mover and a seconder. Councillor Wells, seconder, Oliver. That the committee convene in closed session at 1.17 p.m to discuss one matter pursuant to section 239 A, C, and F of the Municipal Act 2001 as amended as the subject matter pertains to the security of the security of property of the local municipality or local board, a proposed or pending acquisition or disposition of land by the municipality or local board, advice that is subject to solicitor client privilege, including communications necessary for that purpose. All those in favor? That is carried. We are in camera. On a strip of sandy soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario. South Coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No phone, no phone, a southern county home. Oh, no, no, you won't be a stranger. 
stranger along Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road Found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home Norfolk, Norfolk We know you can't go wrong With a friendly foe With hard work we built a dream That only willing hands could do It's on display at our fall fairs And at all the festivals too Erie beaches, Carolinian forests Where the flower and dogwoods bloom Patchwork fields and rolling hills It's just the place for you No On a strip of sandy soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, South Coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here. Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Oh no With hard work we built a dream That only willing hands could do It's on display at our fall fairs And at all the festivals too Erie beaches, Carolinian forests Where the flower and dogwoods bloom Patchwork fields and rolling hills It's just the place for you
strip of sandy soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road and found to be back for more. Oh no! On a strip of sandy soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road and found to be back for more. Oh, no. With hard work, we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals, too. Erie Beach is Carolinian forest where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. Soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here.
Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road Found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home Norfolk, Norfolk We know you can't go wrong With a friendly foe With hard work, we build a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals, too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dog woods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here. Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Oh no on a strip of sandy soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No. County home, no foe, no foe. We know you can't go wrong with a friendly folk of no foe. You won't be a stranger long. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world. Can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Of Norfolk, Norfolk My Cullen County home
With hard work we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Erie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. 
Like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more Oh no On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk it's Ontario, South Coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No, for no, for a southern county home. No, we know you can't go wrong with the friendly folk of Norfolk. You won't be a stranger long. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road. I'm bound to be back for more. Oh, no, for no, for my Cullen County home. No, for no, for we know you can't go wrong with a friendly foe. With hard work, we build a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals, too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dogwoods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. On a strip of sandy soil lies a county called Norfolk. 
It's Ontario, South Coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No phone, no phone, a southern county home. No Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world, and can't wait to return home. Drop a line in a placid lake, or stroll along the shore. Take a tour on a peaceful country road. With hard work, we built a dream that only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals, too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dog woods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. soil lies a county called Norfolk. It's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No foe, no foe, we know you can't go wrong with a friendly foe of no foe, you won't be a stranger long. Take in the small town atmosphere, be amazed at all that we grow. Like our kids that go and see the world. Can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road You're bound to be back for more Of no On a strip of sandy soil Lies a county called Norfolk it's Ontario, south coast, you know, and it's surely not remote. If you pass through or spend a day or decide to call it home, you'll see why we love it here and are proud to call it our own. No phone, no phone, a southern county home. No. We know you can't go wrong with a friendly folk of no foe. You won't be a stranger long. 
Take in the small town atmosphere Be amazed at all that we grow Like our kids that go and see the world And can't wait to return home Drop a line in a placid lake Or stroll along the shore Take a tour on a peaceful country road And found to be back for more I need oh, no Hard work, which we built a dream that them. only willing hands could do. It's on display at our fall fairs and at all the festivals too. Eerie beaches, Carolinian forests, where the flower and dove woods bloom. Patchwork fields and rolling hills, it's just the place for you. Brought to you as an attempt to be a cost stranger. Understand that the corporation of Norfolk County spends well in excess of half a million dollars per year on legal services. I say that it's well in excess, according to the report, first paragraph under Norfolk expenditure on legal services is at 5.2 million by 18, which the last two years. What's particularly relevant is that. First paragraph under the no is to say we also spend between tens and hundreds of thousands per annum that is properly quantified and qualified as described as an insurance expense, but we're really paying third party law firms to defend actions as against the corporation. Uh, so the legal spend is, is more than just the half million, the 514 and the 518 cited in the last two years. It's, it's, that's a, a threshold, and then on top of that, uh, there's legal bills to the insurance world. So you can very conservatively call it a half million dollars uh, quite easily. It was one of the first things that struck me when I started my employment here. Uh, we do appear to be the second largest municipality in the province of Ontario not to have a staff lawyer. And you can put an asterisk beside that. Obviously, I'm sitting here and speaking to you. But at the end of the day, I might have legal training, and I might have a legal mind, and I might be a member in good standing. But at the end of the day, I don't have the functional capacity to go to court on our behalf, because I have a full-time employment. Uh, and that's what we're really talking about, the functionality of a staff lawyer. When you look at fairly good comparators, uh, Elgin County next door is 50,000 compared to our 64,000 and change. But in every other way, it's, it's very similar. Uh, and they made the jump about a year and a half ago. Our neighbor Brantford has four lawyers uh, and they're not twice our size. Um, those are two very good comparators. Middlesex County is three on roughly 75,000 people. When you look around Ontario, it's somewhere uh, roughly 34,000 people. Uh, it's hard to use population as an exact driver, but that tends to reflect the amount of work and the, amount, the number of things that the municipality has to deliver to its citizenry. And somewhere around the 34,000 people mark, it makes sense to have a staff lawyer. Uh, now, in fairness and in the report, I have tried to identify municipalities that have decided not to engage a staff lawyer. City of Timmins, at 45,000 people, spends about a half million, and it's decided, it, it, it looked at the matter again uh, earlier this calendar year and decided not to engage a staff lawyer. Oxford County and Woodstock have elected not, so it's not the that everyone has to, and we've tried to present you with both sides of the argument. But the, the basic concept here is it seems extremely apparent to me that we could cut out hundreds of thousands of dollars from levy spending by engaging the services of a staff lawyer. 
Yes, it will increase our staff complement. Yes, that person will be on the sunshine list. Um, to the extent that that's a, a challenge or a problem, let me also say that that will create an ex excellent employment for someone in this community uh, and enough money to support a family, raise and, and, and grow the community. But the bottom line is, this isn't new spending. We're well over a half million dollars as is. And what I'd lo love to do is break that down to a quarter million, to 300,000, to 200,000, something in that ballpark. Very large savings are possible because we're making a conscious decision to spend large sums of legal expenses. <laughs> Everything legal is very expensive. We have no choice but to engage lawyers for any number of files. Uh, so that's going to carry on. It's, it's an unfortunate reality. We can, however, you know, to me, the key number, take, scrub everything else out. The key number is that we're billed $120 an hour for outside law clerks. And the, and the salary would max out for the staff lawyer at $76.92. So the question is, would you rather keep paying law clerks $120 an hour, or would you like to have a senior county solicitor for $76.92? Assuming they started at the top of the pay grid and everything was the worst case scenario for us. It's still enormous savings. That's the money piece. There's a lot more to it than the money piece, though. It, it's hard. Whatever benefit you may feel um, that I've been able to offer you the last uh, almost three months now, uh, some of that's come from the legal background, some of it's been having a manager. Uh, so you've been able to see, at least occasionally, I like to think, firsthand some benefit from having access to a legally trained mind to, to help with process, procedure, law, all that sort of piece. To be able to have someone full-time who has that skill and knowledge set uh, is of tremendous value, and there's not a good way to quantify that, but when you have a talented team of staff, we have good engineering, we have planning, we have accounting, we have most professional disciplines covered. We have this weakness in this one area we call law, where we, have, we now have some modest amount of talent, but really we have a gaping hole there. And I look at, at the issues and challenges we face. We have a lot of planning applications. We have hearings in front of the OMB board. We have the planners. The county is able to provide the staff, but in theory, the county could also provide the litigator. Like, there is an opportunity.